Hey, it's Mike. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, today let's uh, discuss knowledge base, which is a part of the JSM. And what is the purpose of, of, of the knowledge base? Obviously the purpose is to help your client, which is going to be using like the stuff what you're seeing on your screen, which is the JSM, the portal, because that's only how the, um, how the knowledge base works. It's going to help you to divert him from creating a ticket to article. So maybe instead of just creating a ticket, you can actually follow the steps <laughs> on the knowledge base and maybe, you know, resolve the problem on his own. Very, very cool stuff. However, you know, I think in, in, in these days, it's, uh, it's a little bit, little bit outdated. Yeah. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to do it, how to configure it. Going to give you some, some scenarios, going to give you some tips. And I'm also going to give you some of my opinions. And I'm going to, of course, you know, show you how to do it. But guys, before we're actually going to do it, just let you know that we offer Jira JSM Confluent uh, as a paid service. So maybe you just need few hours of consulting. Maybe you want a full day of consulting. Maybe you would like to have access to our training courses, which we've got a lot at the moment. So why not booking that uh, 15, 20 minute discovery call and you're going to find more details in the description. So we're going to find actually my link tree with all services, paid services, or maybe if you're not sure, like you can book that uh, 15, 20 minutes as we call discovery call so you can discuss your issue, your needs. So now let's go back to the video and I'm going to of course show you like how that works. If you're not using it, I would say, you know, why not try it? Because surprisingly, uh, that is actually really, really cool stuff about the license. If you have, let's say, I don't know, 100 agents in in, in your in your uh, JSM business, actually, believe it or not, you don't need a paid version of Confluence, yeah? So it can work with even free version of Confluence. So, so it doesn't really matter, you know, if you've got 100 users as the JSM, you don't need 100 users in Confluence. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so now very quick demo uh, how that uh, works. So I am on the portal because this is the only one way how to actually um, make it work, yeah, the, 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 the knowledge base. And again, this is some kind of sample project, sample data, uh, but you can integrate it to any any request types on but on please remember only with a summer even if um using forms yeah by the way the forms video you're also going to find in the description that's coming very 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 soon so what i'm talking about like let's say i'm a, I'm a client yeah, and let's say i have a vpn issue yeah of course you know i prepared that page before which i'm going to show you just in a second how to do it so let's say i have a vpn problem yeah so look at this now it is tr gi yeah, jsm good like this internal uh, search like, like kind of like a google yeah. <laughs> and it's actually trying to find most suitable article to help me resolve that problem with that and yes it's under one it's only actually three uh, three articles because obviously it's going to be more it's going to be very very chaotic so i think you know that three is actually good and look at this you know i prepared that page before and so i'm just trying to create and say oh i've got a vpn shit. there is an article how to do it so maybe i'm going to click on that and say okay hmm, fine you know and maybe maybe that is actually answer to my to my question and i will be able to resolve the problem without creating on the ticket and this is actually the main purpose of the knowledge base so really really cool you know so simple to configure it so now uh, let's actually go into the jsm and how to start it's a really simple process as i told you oh and by the way that's another really cool stuff you can even add articles to the knowledge base from jsm at the moment yeah so pretty pretty good so if we're going to uh, of course our project settings we'll see that the uh, knowledge base is like somewhere like in the middle and as you can actually see i already have a few spaces connected before of course we're going to do it absolutely make sure that your jira is connected to confluence and as i said before don't worry because sometimes you say oh my but we've got you know 400 users and gay paying 400 users for confluence as i as i told you before no it's not the case <laughs> it doesn't really matter yeah you can have 400 users in in jira like you know whatever 100 uh, jsm agents and still use a free version of confluence yeah if you're not planning to use confluence for other users yeah so how do you know it is actually part of the of the jira because if you go to that chessboard as we call it you will see that confluence is on the list of your apps if not just scroll it down go to confluence sign up for that free version just you know a few more clicks 
And if you go inside the Confluence, there you go. I highly recommend you to create a custom space. So you're gonna. This is not about that, of course. You know, just check if if you if you if you're wondering how to how to use Confluence, check my other videos. But it's so simple. Just create a new space. Confluence generally speaking, very very simple, and start adding uh, articles. Yeah. However, you don't have to actually do it right there. I'm gonna show you because you can now start adding articles to the knowledge base directly from Jira. I would say it's I've got like like this yes it, it actually can it can work it can work actually so so I, I don't have a problem with that however I'm gonna actually stop you for a for a second in the knowledge base because I highly highly recommend you actually if you already using Confluence if you already have a lot of a lot of articles to actually think a little bit little bit little bit little bit stop for for, for a second because I still highly recommend to have a dedicated um, actually spaces for the knowledge and I'm going to explain why you have, we have a, one one issue with a, with a client we actually warned them that 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 if they're going to integrate Jira with 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 Confluence um, sometimes the search is not really that precise and what I'm talking about sometimes it can actually produce some some results to the articles which are not 100% connected to the, to the to the top topic what you want and and if for example you, you connect it to some kind of general space inside confluence and it could be some I don't know maybe confidential information and that was the case uh, people will be able to to to, to see this so just just as the security I highly recommend you to actually do not uh, add you know access to to to, to the, the knowledge base to some some other spaces that's why customer are, are good additionally if you're using uh, forms now you can filter them by the labels yeah if you go to, of course to the to the article you go to labels and you can add label from from the bottom actually that works really well but I will still I will still you know still create that custom uh, custom knowledge base yeah so that is connected no problem I don't have to link space any more spaces oh and of course you, know, you can actually link more spaces if you're using um, by the way uh, forms you can actually see them right there and maybe some of them like that about the VPN or request a new software or something like this if you don't want them actually to to be present on that just disable them yeah and of course that is it guys that is it because it's a fully automated process however I've got something else to show you uh, if you go into the confluent if you go sorry to the JSM and go back to that main part now navigate to the like something like in the, something like in the middle yes yeah? something like in the middle where is that where is that where is that I always miss that knowledge base there you go so that's not the settings that's not the setting this is actually from the from uh, the the project settings the projects you don't have to go to the settings why I'm actually showing you right here right there this is because you can create an article from JSM so it means that people like your agents for example yeah if you, if you don't want to give them access to um, uh, to confluence for some reason why not <laughs> why not you can do it directly from the JSM and I've got this IT support go for next and from here you can start creating and for example uh, Windows password problem yeah? of course I'm not going to do it but you know what to do in this case you basically start adding them you can even add, link a video like this one yeah to your to your confluence and of course you can publish it and that is it is is gonna start working straight away yeah straight away so I have, I have to say I kind of like it you know it's 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 no, no problem Plus we've got some articles, we've got some draft, yeah. Uh, and guys, that is it. But as I told you before, I'm going to give you also some of my mm, opinions, of my thoughts about that that, that knowledge base. Because if we go back to the uh, to the portal, and by the way, I can actually show you that is actually working straight away. So we those password, yeah. There you go. So like this, I've got this password change. Yeah, it's trying to help me with that. Um, as I told you, I think for 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 today's standards, the knowledge base is a little bit maybe outdated. And uh, I know Atlas is actually planning. Is actually I think, I think I've even seen that interface, which I cannot tell you more about this. But Atlas is 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 gonna probably uh, change that very very soon. So something something new is coming. And of course, if that is gonna happen, please uh, stay tuned, watch video, subscribe to the channel 
because of course I will be recording more uh, video about this. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, and if you're still here, please don't forget that we offer full support help with Jira, JSM, Confluence. Maybe it's a setup. Maybe you just need a few hours of consulting. Maybe you need to train you or your team. Why not contacting me or uh, some of from our team? More information you're going to find in my link tree in the description and the first comment. Okay, that's going to be it. If you like this video, leave, leave the like, leave a comment. Always, always trying to respond to all comments. Thank you so much. And of course, I think that the playlist, I think the more videos about the JSM you're going to find on this playlist. Okay, thank you so much. And watch the next video.